Uh, welcome to another one of my series of nail surgery videos um, for this patient for uh, ingrowing toenails. This gentleman has been suffering for many years with ingrowing toenails uh, to both first toenails and his left second. Uh, heavily involuted nails uh, and he is diabetic and has been uh, putting off having these treated for some time. Uh, recent bout of infection, which took uh, more than several weeks to clear, uh, has forced him to consider having nail surgery performed. His uh, numbing injections had already been completed when I started filming. We're working on his right toe here. So first we separate his uh, nail plate to be removed. Uh, to both lateral and medial e edges uh, with our nippers and then uh, with scalpel. Uh, his nail is so curved that we have, I'm having to take his nail off in uh, more than one uh, bite with the nippers. And it's a slightly more difficult case. Again, once the nail has been uh, cut and separated, it twists out. Uh, the twisting movement here helps uh, reduce the risk of the nail breaking. So we just check that all the nail plate has been removed, so on both sulci. Remove any blood, which prevents the phenol working when we are chemical ablating the nail bed and we apply the phenol. Basically we're looking here for the change in uh, colour primarily uh, to the tissue to both sulci. This cup turns from a ready pink colour to a grey colour and this also helps uh, prevent bleeding as well as preventing the nail the ingrowing portion of the nail from returning we know this procedure has a success rate in the high 90 percent with recurrence being a very low uh, proportion of that and certainly a significant improvement on previous surgical excision procedures that were performed uh, many years ago. Remember to take the tourniquet off, which prevents bleeding during the procedure. Uh, we wait until signs of his circulation returning to the digit. And we'll wait till the toe starts to return to be pink colour, and then we can start to apply the dressing. Uh, using a counterstat dressing which helps to prevent bleeding, which is one of the post-operative risks, and using a mild compression bandage. This patient has uh, type 1 diabetes mellitus and... Uh, on his vascular assessment, scored very well. He understands the risks of having surgery with his diabetes. As with all surgery, we balance the risk and benefit. So his right foot has been completed. On okay, on to the left hallux. Again, all his local anesthesia has been completed beforehand. Post-operatively, 
We normally recommend paracetamol if any pain relief is needed and tend to avoid the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatories as this can uh, increase the likelihood of post-operative bleeding. Most patients of mine don't need pain relief post-operatively and any tenderness post-surgery is likely to be less uh, than the pain exhibited by most ingrowing toenails. I'd estimate that approximately 50% of patients need no pain relief and most of those who do require pain relief post-operatively uh, require only one dose of paracetamol. Uh, this gentleman will likely be numb for four hours or so and will unlikely have uh, and only with them will likely to be need any 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 pain relief. Same procedure as performed to the right side. What makes uh, this pa patient's ingrowing nails more difficult to treat surgically is the, there's a strong curvature transversely, but also his nails curve longitudinally also. I'll just straighten up the nail edge with a scalpel and we begin finalising uh, this nail also. We're always careful to remove any overspill of phenol on the surrounding tissues. Phenol is very acidic and will easily burn the surrounding skin and tissues and can burn the nail plate if not removed quickly. It's important with all patients to minimise damage to surrounding tissues, but especially in those with uh, systemic complaints like diabetes. Again, we're waiting for the circulation to return to the tip of the digit before applying his dressing. And moving to his uh, second toe. Now, often with ingrown lesser digits, we will often completely remove the toenail, especially when uh, both sulci uh, are ingrown. However, this patient uh, preferred us to keep some nail plates, so I'm performing a partial nail avulsion to both sulci and this, this nail, um, rather than removing the entire nail plate. I was really pleased at the end of this procedure on the lesser toe that we 
I maintained enough nail plate uh, to offer protection if the toe was stubbed or there was any trauma. But it certainly makes the procedure much more difficult uh, when it become, comes to the finalisation. This patient will return to clinic in three days' time to have his dressings changed and ensure there are no complications. Removing the tourniquet and allowing the circulation to return to the toe before dressing it. Uh, thank you for watching uh, this video. Uh, really enjoyed making them for you. And I'm glad to see so many people are enjoying them. If you've liked this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will hopefully keep making more. Until next time, I'll see you soon.